Hey guys, and welcome back to Shannon's Makeup Drawer. And today in this video, we're going to be doing a makeup look from the Naked Urban Decay Heat Palette, which I personally don't own myself. This is my friend's. So I do thank her a lot for letting me borrow this. If you do like this look, then stay tuned. To start off this look, I'm going to go into the shade Sauce as my first transition shade. And I'm going to just apply this gradually and very lightly in my crease. slowly build it up gradually. I will be extending it out into the tail of my brow. The next shade I'm going to use is Low Glow, and I will be using that in the crease as well, focusing it in the outer corner, starting to create that V. I first begin by packing it on, and then holding my brush at the tip and buffing it out so everything blends nicely. Next I'm going in with Cayenne and I'm mainly focusing it on the outer corner. Making sure to make that V. I don't know why I switched eyes in the middle of this, but I'm just gonna go with it. I personally love using more than one color of the palette just to get better use of the whole palette. Get your money's worth, you know. The next shade I'm going in with is En Fuego. Just in the outer V with a um, smudge brush. And don't forget to go back in with your blending brush to blend out any harsh lines. The next shade I will go in with is Ashes, with again with my smudge brush, keeping it focused in the outer V as well. Again, I'm going back in with my blending brush with no product on it just to blend out any harsh lines. I'm going in with concealer just for a semi cut crease. I'm just going 
to carve out my eyelid. I'm going to now just take my finger and some of the foundation powder and just set the concealer I just put down. Very beautiful rose gold color and put that all over my lid. Now I'm going to add the shade Dirty Talk in just the center of my lid to add dimension because it's a nice coppery color and keeping it close to the darker colors to help mix. I'm just gonna personally go back in with the shade Ashes just to add a little bit more dimension and blend the shimmery shade with the matte shade. Just keeping in mind to blend all of this out. I love a bright inner corner, so I'm going to go in with the shade out and just keep it with my smudge brush and pack it on in the inner corner. I will also take the same color and go highlight my brow bone a little bit. Love a good wing to every makeup look, so. I will be using Almay's liquid liner in the shade black. When doing eyeliner, I personally like doing the line first and then I do a dot to Kind of justify what looks even and then I connect it downwards. Now I'm going to go back in the shade sauce with my smudge brush and go under my lower lash line. Then I'm going to go back in with the shade Ashes and just strictly do the outer lower lash line. For me, I personally like this look of adding like a really dark shade because it kind of makes it like that dirty effect. I'm going to go in with a retractable eyeliner pencil and put this on my waterline. Mm. 
use mascara, I am going to curl my eyelashes. Now it's time for mascara, and my favorite mascara is Scandalous Eyes by Rimmel. Now that I've finished the eye look, I will go in with a neutral lip color in the shade HD Sand by Revlon. I love this, and it smells like jelly beans for some weird reason. So that about wraps up this look. Hope you guys enjoyed. Wow, I look like a lion. That about wraps up this look on the Naked Urban Decay Heat palette. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below if you'd like to see more types of these videos or if you have any kind of video suggestions at all. I'd love to hear from you.